Good, good morning, boys and girls. Happy, happy Friday. This is the last weekend in May. I cannot believe that already. And today is going to be a beautiful, beautiful day out. So please, please make sure you go outside. It's definitely going to be a little hot, but you know, see, I can, I'll be getting some color. Definitely go outside, get some color, get yourself wet, you know, play with some water toys outside, you know, or maybe get the hose out and just do some water balloons this weekend. Definitely enjoy the weather. Uh, with that being said, hello, Jamirico. How's it going? Hi, Jaden. Hello, John. Good morning, Jose. Hi, Deep. Hello, Ivy. Hello, Iman. Hi, Patrick. How are you? So today I wanted to read, if you give a mouse a cookie, I'm sure you might have heard of this book or read it before. It's actually one of my favorite books that I enjoy reading. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Joff Newmarth, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. Look at the mouse running in. When you give him the milk, He'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask you for a napkin. Who likes cookies and milk? I do. My favorite is Oreos and milk, right? Dip it in. Yum, yum, yum. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache, right? When you drink the milk. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. All right, so now he's making sure his face is all cleaned up and now he's checking his hair out. He's like, I need a haircut. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep, sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. All right, when you give yourself a haircut and stuff, the hair falls on the ground. So you need to get a broom, right? And sweep up the whole mess. And now he got so excited, and now he's got excited. He's cleaning up the whole house. Gee, I would like that. He can come over to my house and clean it up. <laughs> he may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. Oh, look, so now he just cleaned all the floors with the mop and everything. And since he worked so hard today cleaning and everything, he's so tired. He needs to take a nap. And you know what? It's okay to take a nap. Nap is a good thing. I enjoy myself a nap from time to time. I hope you do too. You'll have to fix up a, <clears throat> a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillows a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So now the boy's getting a little like bed and pillow for the mouse to relax on, right? And now it's story time before bed. That's my favorite. You guys enjoy a story? So you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he, he'll get so excited he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. So now as the boy is reading a book, he's like, oh, I want to see the pictures. I want to, you know, imagine what's going on. And now that he got so excited, he says, I want to draw. I want to color. He'll, he, he'll draw a picture. So look at that big piece of paper. You get all the crayons ready now. And he has a big piece of paper. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. Oh, look, so he drew a whole picture of his mouse family and everything. And now he's going, I need to sign my name because guess what? I am the artist. I drew it. Sorry about that there, guys. A little technical difficulty. Bear with me. <laughs> you guys fell off my uh, little prop here. I apologize. <laughs> it's always good to have a laugh, right? Okay. We are situated. Let's get back to the story. So, right, as an art, when you draw your own work, you become your own artist. So, when you sign that paper, it is your own creation. So, he signed it with a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need, so, it's just a pen. He's asking the mouse, and now he wants to put it on the refrigerator, which means he'll need what? How, how do you put the picture on the refrigerator? You Right? You're going to need what? A magnet to put it up, or he said scotch tape. So he wants to get scotch tape to put it on the refrigerator. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator, 
will remind him that. So look, there's the picture of his family right there. He taped up on the fridge. Looking at this picture will remind him that what? He's thirsty. Now he's thirsty. What? So look at the boy. Does he look like he's sleeping? Is he exhausted from helping Mouse out all day? I bet he is. He is exhausted. He's so thirsty, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, what do you think's going to happen, boys and girls, if he's going to ask for another glass of milk? What's he going to need with that glass of milk? What's he going to dip in with a glass of milk? Is he going to dip some chips in a glass of milk? Or is he going to dip some cookies in a glass of milk? Chips or cookies? Cookies, that's right. We wouldn't want to dip chips in milk. Oh, man. I can only imagine what that would taste like, right? Yuck. He's going to want a cookie with it. Look. And now the boy is getting out the cookies for Mouse. And the boy is sleeping now because he's exhausted. And Mouse is all happy that he got his glass of milk and a cookie. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's book. Okay. If you give a mouse a cookie, so obviously he worked hard, right? He had his milk, he had his cookie, and then he cleaned the house up, he swept the floors, he mopped, and then he was so thirsty, he had to drink some more milk. He even drew a picture of his family. He was so productive, right? So it's a cute book. So I hope you all enjoyed that. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great, fantastic weekend. I can't believe I'm saying this, like June's already coming up, like, wow. But you know what? I can always say it. We're in this together. You got this. You guys are doing great. Keep up the great work. And I will talk to you guys soon, okay? I miss you guys still. I always do. Have fun and enjoy the weekend, okay? Lots of hugs. Take care. Bye.